Hello, sport fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a vet special breakdown. We're going to be covering Did Merrill Hodge Go Too Far? Before we get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Merrill Hodge, former NFL player, former NFL analyst for ESPN, former a lot of things for the NFL. Uh, he talked about the potential for Caleb Williams, the USC quarterback that is slated to go number one overall, which is the highest rating that we've seen since Andrew Luck quarterback position coming out of the draft. Merrill Hodge had a lot of things to say. It was a lot of unflattering things. He talked about the laziness. He talked about the bad parts of Caleb Williams' throws. He pointed out most of the negative things. He pointed out what he doesn't do well. But he also said the kid's talented, but he's not that talented to where we should be moving all earth and in, in, in heaven to, to get the draft pick. He talked about how the Chicago Bears should keep Justin Fields. He talked about the highlights of what Justin Fields does well for the Bears. And he says, losing three coordinators in three different years is unheard of. Losing head coaches is unheard of. And you're still expecting this guy to be the best possible quarterback he can be. He said that he sees Justin Fields improving in some of the biggest parts that he needs to improve as a quarterback. So it'd be smart for the Bears to keep the actual quarterback, which is Justin Fields, and trade the pick. Number one overall from the Carolina Panthers. So right now in this moment, did Merrill Hodge go too far? To me, he kept it football. I didn't hear too much of off the field stuff. I know that he touched on it a little bit about, you know, Caleb Williams expecting to be part owner of a franchise and things like this. Uh, ownership percentage and stuff like that that I don't think can happen. Um, but I think that Merrill Hodge just kept it strictly to what it really is. He spoke on what he saw at USC. He talked about how late in football games he disappeared. Late in football games he couldn't lead his team to victory against some of the biggest opponents in the Pac-12 at the time. And he talked about how, you know, his bad habits crept up on him. A lot of the bad tendencies crept up on him. And because he put up three, 400 yards a game, it, it made Sports Center highlight. It made the sexy Sports Center top 10 because he's throwing acrobat throws and he's getting the ball out and he's doing things crazy and they're just scoring touchdowns. So, to me, Merrill Hodge didn't go too far. I think Merrill Hodge is just skeptical. In the past, we've seen him call out different college prospects and he was right on them. When we, were, when we were putting certain guys in positions where, oh, they'll be drafted with this pick or that pick or they're, they're going to be a top 10, Merrill Hodge was like, whoa, 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 slow down. They're not a top 10 pick. And he was actually right. A lot of this depends on what team you actually go to system-wise because you got to think, if you go to a just bad organization, it could ruin a player. Let's face it, we've seen some great players go to bad organizations and turn out to be less career-driven, less actually active in the NFL. So when it comes down to it, Merrill Hodge has his opinion. Other people have their opinion. So we want to hear what you got to say in the comment section. Was Merrill Hodge correct? Yes or no? Was he too harsh of a critic? Yes or no? So get the, leave your comments in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus. We'll see you in the very next video.